Welcome to Next Lab's expert Q&A series. This series was designed to inform you of relevant cybersecurity topics via expert knowledge. Welcome back to the Next Lab Cybersecurity Expert Series. In this episode, we have our guest Narendra Sahu, the founder and director of Vista InfoSec, joining us to discuss how to ensure compliance for global multinational enterprises that are subject to a variety of privacy regulations. Now, he will introduce himself before we move into the Q&A. Hi, uh, this is Narendra Sahu here, and I've been in the industry for more than 30 years now. It's I work basically on audits and uh, advisory to niche area clients itself. I am training faculty to many uh, management institutions on uh, risk management. I've been involved in many defense projects, especially for the Indian Army, Indian Navy. So that's a brief about me. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your introduction, Narendra. Now let's move into the Q&A. So what are some common challenges organizations face in achieving and maintaining compliance for privacy data regulations? Okay, with regards um, to challenges, that's uh, again an interesting question actually because almost all the companies that we see, regardless of the budgets, regardless of the, of the size, have their own challenges. And of course, the humongous amount of data like an enterprise might be having, so it really uh, hits the roof. And uh, again, if I, if I list out a few of those challenges, uh, primarily would be uh, limited resources, siloed data, and of course, the lack of very strong leadership, and of course, the poor data quality and the context. So from how the data has been collected, how it is maturing, what is the purpose? So many times the focus is more on collect as much as possible, then we'll see what, what to do with it. And of course, the lack of data control. Most of the companies, large companies, would just be backing up data because erasing the data after the retention period is over is much more lengthy and painful. So that's again a violation of the data privacy standards. And of course, the difficulty in embedding uh, data privacy into the organizational culture. So, you know, again, the problem is basically the merging of confidentiality and privacy. These are two separate points. And then managing the privacy across diverse platforms. So they would be having a billing system, an HRMS system, sales management system, all having data. So these are all, all privacy-related data and they need to be protected. And that's where the privacy across diverse platforms becomes a major, major issue. And then the maintenance cost, because with the amount of data being increased in organizations, the maintenance cost of the data also goes to the roof. And then access control complexity. So who's going to do what when? Again, it's not about confidentiality alone. There are many other things. So who's going to have access? What about your um, your, your third-party processors will be having access to the data. Why do they need to access to have access to the data? What if there is something that goes wrong with them, with the data over there? Because now the repercussions with privacy is very high compared to a typical normal data breach. And of course, insufficient visibility, if I can say this as the last point, the insufficient visibility into data moments and usage because privacy data has not been considered anything beyond confidentiality. So why are we collecting this data? From whom are we collecting this data? That's what privacy is all about. User consent is what privacy is about. The, the ability of the people to be able to change the data, download the data, update the data, delete the data. These are the parameters that are unheard of, unthought about. And when you don't know also where the data is and how the data is being managed, especially in large enterprises, it makes things very, very painful. And therefore, to overcome these challenges, a very comprehensive approach, a very strong leadership, Adequate resources, very, very important. And then, of course, a commitment to, end, to embedding privacy principles into the organizational culture is very, very important and crucial. Thank you for sharing these common challenges. Do you have any recommendations for global multinational enterprises on how to approach ensuring compliance with a variety of privacy data regulations? Recommendations, yes, there are uh, quite a few recommendations. Are the, uh, let me summarize it up for you. So many things to be said, uh, especially for larger uh, multinational organizations on how to approach and ensure compliance for this myriad of data privacy standards. It's very, very important to know the regulation because it's not just privacy, privacy per se, because the importance of privacy, say in HIPAA, uh, GDPR, it is different. If you look at DPDP in India, it's different. Of course, the base principle will never change. But then again, what is the standard talking about? And very important as to what is the impact on your organization. So know the regulations. So before you, before you do anything, read the standard. This is something on legal requirements. So it is not just a standard like an ISO or a PCI DSS. These are all uh, regulations. And the, the repercussions on the government would be phenomenal 
So uh, you really need to know the standard. And even after knowing, without an expert's insight, because they have been dealing with the standards, work with people who know this standard very well and be able to let you know and even advise you on what to do in case there is some issues in your organization. And then, of course, set up a data governance program. This is not a one-time thing. This is not something that you can just do once and uh, get audited, say, on GDPR or HIPAA or something and get it over with. There has to be a data governance program. And then invest in new technologies because something like a DLP is very important for you because it's not just about confidentiality. And stuff like uh, you know managing the data in your organization, managing user consent, managing your policies, you would need technology for that, especially if your volumes are high. And it might seem a bit expensive initially, but take my word for it, it is more than worth it over a period of time because no matter how many people you hire, it's never going to be as reliable or versatile as technology. And then train your team. They are used to just managing technology or looking at just security with confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Privacy requirements are different. So know the standard and train your team. And then practice data minimization. Because as I've seen in many organizations is that uh, they, they keep the data for what I don't know. Same thing I would advise very strongly for organizations. If you don't need a particular set of data beyond a particular amount of time, get rid of it. And then appoint a DPO, data privacy officer. That's something else that I would like to share with you. Is that a data privacy officer, his role is dedicated for overseeing the entire data privacy initiative in your organization. It's more than worth your time and money. And uh, even if you are a high-tech CISO or a CIO, it's just simply not possible to manage privacy, especially in an enterprise. And then have regular audits. One of the key areas in uh, data privacy is with regards to the security of the data subject rights. So that's where um, you need to have clear policies for the data subject rights. So uh, how you're going to collect the consent, how you're going to let them know why the data is being collected, or what the data is being collected for, how long will it be retained, how can they make changes to it, how can they erase the data, and then have an incident response team. And this is the base for any privacy requirement. So in case there is a breach and you don't have an in, uh, incident response management system in place, the repercussions, the penalties are really going to be terrible. So it's okay if there is a breach, but if you don't have an incident, you know, identification, incident response plan, it's going to be very, very difficult. So do take care of looking into these areas as we have highlighted. Your approach will need to be tailor-made as per your organizational requirements. So I hope that helps. Great recommendations. Thank you so much, Narendra. This concludes episode 15. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for episode 16 where we will have more insights from a new expert.